This Sunday, April 30th, is uh, also known as the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. In particular, it's because it's the, the fourth Sunday of Easter, and every year the readings for the fourth Sunday of Easter always will re revolve around the, the image of Christ the Good Shepherd. It's a, it's a very ancient image, and the, the image of the Good Shepherd in, in many ways actually goes back even to before uh, Christianity, before the Church. Uh, but it's one that Christ used to refer to himself uh, when, when he spoke to his disciples, and one which many early Christians uh, latched onto, or in particular as they were facing very severe persecution and, and uh, a general sort of resentment from the society around them. It's an image which continues to speak to us very powerfully today, even you know, perhaps for, for those who live in a, in a much more urban setting, far away from pastors and sheep and so on. Uh, but in particular, it's because it speaks to the, the very close relationship that Christ has with his sheep. We hear in the readings today about the, the idea of the sheepfold, the idea of uh, Christ being the gate through whom the, the good shepherds enter, uh, but himself in particular as the good shepherd who leads his sheep, who cares for them, feeds them, and so on. Uh, but we also hear today uh, a, a kind of a, a somewhat uncomfortable warning about the idea of false shepherds, uh, shepherds who try to steal into the, the pasture, to, who try to steal into where the sheep are, and lead them astray from Christ. This has been a reality which has been a part of the life of the church from the very beginning. Uh, Christ warned about it, and then we see, you know, shortly after Christ's ascension, we see uh, Paul, and then we see John in their letters writing and warning about false teachers, false, false priests, false, um, false shepherds, rather. Uh, who, who are presenting the church with uh, in, incorrect teaching, who are presenting the church with ideas which really will, in the end, lead them away from Christ, which is the great tragedy of, uh, of these false shepherds. I'm recording this, uh, this video uh, very appropriately in, uh, in St. Augustine Seminary. I think by providence, I wound up here for, for about 12 hours, and I'm, uh, I'm leaving in about 10 minutes. So. Uh, it's, a, it's really a privilege to be able to, to record the video here where I was trained for the priesthood, where many of the priests of the Archdiocese of Toronto were trained for the priesthood, and many really throughout Canada. This seminary is a, a vital place in the life of the church in Toronto, the life of the, of the church for, for many dioceses in Canada, because it is to this place that men come when they are being prepared to to be, to be shepherds who represent Christ. In particular, we, we have this, this image in the readings today of the sheep who recognize the voice of Christ. And because they recognize his voice, they follow him. I'm here right now in the sacristy of St. Augustine's, just, uh, just outside the chapel. And, and the chapel really is, when you look at the building physically, it is right at the heart of everything. It's at the center of the building, and, and it's to this place that we come every day for, for hours of, of silent prayer, for the liturgy, uh, for, for the breviary, and so on. And, and it is this place, this, this chapel, in the silence, that as, uh, as seminarians we, we learned, and as seminarians continue to learn, to recognize the voice of Christ in prayer. And, uh, you know, we, we think today that this, this day of the World Day of Prayer for Vocations, of the, the many young men who feel called to the priesthood, uh, who uh, perhaps in some cases might even be a little bit afraid of that vocation, but who nonetheless are being called by Christ to continue this mission of shepherding the Church of God. And we, we pray for them today, for, for all those men who are preparing for, for this, this great ministry, this very beautiful ministry in the life of the Church, and who are preparing to follow Christ uh, the Good Shepherd, Christ, the, the, the Shepherd of the Sheep who lays down his life for the flock. We, we pray for them today, in particular, that as they enter into their, time, their years of formation, as they go through the seminary, as they, as they spend this time of training, that in particular, they learn in silence and in prayer to listen to the voice of Christ, to recognize the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, so that when they themselves speak, it is not so much them, their ideas, their, their uh, sort of, you know, their ambitions for the church and so on. It is instead Christ, the, the true shepherd of the sheep, the, the great shepherd of the sheep, who shepherds his flock through them. We pray for these men today. We pray in particular for all of our priests uh, and, and bishops, all of those who currently lead the flock, 
that they also remain faithful to listening to this voice of Christ and to repeating what they hear from Christ the Good Shepherd to his sheep.